engineered to connect to as well as transition from copper, PEX, or CPVC tubing, Nibco push slip fittings make it easy to repair a burst pipe or add a new line. To successfully repair a burst pipe, follow these instructions. Remember to shut off the main water valve. The push coupling can be installed wet or dry. The damaged section of pipe can be no longer than 2 inches. Mark the section of pipe to be removed. Cut the section of copper tube along your marks using a tube cutter or fine-toothed saw. Make sure to cut the tube end square. Water may drain out. Deburr the tube inside and out using a half round file or deburring tool to eliminate sharp edges. Clean the tube end to remove all dirt, oil, and grease. If you're using PEX tubing, you'll need to use a PEX stiffener to prevent bending. Mark the tube to indicate the proper tube insertion depth. Insert to a depth of 7 8 inch for half inch nominal pipe or 1 inch for a 3 quarter inch nominal pipe. The slip coupling has two marks on it which indicate the slip end and roll stop mark. The slip end should be inserted first and the roll stop mark is where the pipe will stop after sliding back. Push the slip end on the pipe until it stops at the roll stop mark. Use the removal tool to disengage the grip. Slide the coupling back to the other tube until it reaches the mark. Make sure the tube and fitting are securely connected by checking that the depth mark meets the release collar. That's all there is to it. Stay ahead of the flow with push fittings from Nibco. Go to nibcopush.com for more installation information.